Welcome to another episode of Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing King of Fighters 94. King of Fighters 94 was developed by SNK in 1994. When King of Fighters 94 came out, it was like SNK's magnum opus. I mean, the game was amazing, and it was unique and original for a 2D fighter. And it was like best three out of six or something like that, so your quarter really went far in this one. They took characters from SNK past games and put them in this game. This was a gaming first. You had the guys from Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, the females from those games created their own team, Rock and Clark from My Carry Warriors, Athena and Kenzo from Psycho Soldier, a trio of old ladies, mariachi bands, these guys, and many more. There were two teams that were composed of six original characters for the game. This team was Japan's Kyo, Benimaru, and Damon, and Team USA's Heavy D, Lucky Glover, and Brian Battler. During this time of 2D fight fervor, fans were anxiously awaiting a third installment of Street Fighter that wouldn't have come for like years. Meanwhile, SNK was putting out 2D fighters that didn't really match the popularity of Street Fighter, but their games did something that Capcom never did, and that was experimentation. SNK games had fighters engage each other on two planes, zoom in and out of the action, bruising, moving backgrounds, and now teams. While Capcom kept milking their Street Fighter 2 franchise with many different versions, SNK honed and used all these elements to produce one of the greatest 2D fight franchises of all time. Fun fact, King of Fighters was originally supposed to be a side-scrolling beat-em-up. The controls and gameplay for SNK games were a little sluggish, something they greatly remedied in King of Fighters because the characters in this game moved fluidly and the moves came out smoothly. A slight criticism of the game was that you weren't able to create your own team. You were pretty much locked in with the team's preset characters, something they quickly changed in the sequels. Personally, I like this aspect of the game because it forced you to work with the team's strengths and weaknesses. Kind of like a team building exercise or something, but that's just me. King of Fighters has won many awards, spawned many sequels, home ports, animes, and comics. I remember this game making a splash in the arcades wherever I went. There was always a crowd around the game similar to Street Fighter. This game is part of my personal top 10 arcade games of all time, and I highly recommend this game if you're a classic lover like myself. So check it out and let me know what you think.